the view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If we could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Start and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. But I think there's some things you need to know about. Arthur, the worst big brother in the whole world. When we ride bikes, he always goes too fast, on purpose. DW, if you can't keep up, you should stay home. I could go faster if I were as big as he is, but to get that big, I'd have to eat as much as he does. And he's so mean. Mom! DW's in my room again without my permission! DW! That sign can't stop me because I can't read! I don't know what. I don't know what to do about him yet, but I'll figure out something. Yuck! DW's name game. Arthur! Shh. I figure you guys know how to deal with brothers. You both have one. I know how to teach your big, rotten brother a lesson. Yeah? He plays the piano, right? Okay then, here's what you do. You wait until he grows up and becomes a famous piano player. Can I have your autograph? Arthur, sign my piano, please! Then, when he has a big concert... I know, I don't show up! No, you show up late. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. Excuse me. And then, you eat potato chips. That's dopey. Who wants to wait until he grows up? DW, here's a good idea. Am I making you happy, my queen? Great, huh? But why would he do all that? Oh, I forgot that part. Duh. Am I making you happy, my queen? GW, you get secret hypnotic powers and make Arthur your obedient hypno brother. I enjoy doing your chores. I enjoy doing your chores. Of course you do. Don't you know it takes hundreds of years to learn hypnotize, ising, noodle brain? Yeah, it's a bad idea. Well, come up with your own ideas then, DW Dimwit. Don't call me names, Goopy. <laughs> ah, Goopy, you're Goopy. You look just like me. If I'm Goopy, so are you. <laughs> Boy. DW, you're the best at name calling. If you call your brother good names like that, he'll surrender in no time. I can't see. Move your head. You're not the boss of me, Mr. Goopy. DW, please move your big, enormous, large, gopher looking head. <gasps> 
At least my head doesn't look like a football with glasses. No, your head looks like a big meatloaf with raisins. We'll be back at 10.30. Here's the phone number. The kids shouldn't need anything. Mom! Arthur said my face looks like a watermelon except for the bad haircut! She started it. I can handle it. Have a good time. Thanks. Be good, kids. She started it. I have a lot of homework, so why don't you two go play quietly at opposite ends of the house? I dipped my room. I wouldn't want to go to your stupid old messy girl room anyway. Clammy clam face. Turtle breath. Hey! I don't have turtle breath. Smell. <sighs> What's going on here? He called me turtle breath. Why are you in her room? She took my red crayon. I had to. It's a castle coloring book. There's a lot of bricks. D.W., give him his crayon. Arthur, go back to the den. This isn't working because Arthur knows more words than me. Catherine, you're so smart. What's another word for boring? If you want to know words that mean the same as other words, you look in the thesaurus. I can't read. I'll look it up for you. You are tedious. Huh? I did it, I win! Yahoo! Yay! Tedious, tedious. Hey! Do you know another word for annoying? Does the source have a word for someone who eats too much cake? You kids are really working on your vocabulary. I'm so impressed. You are distended for meaning cake. Plus, you are both adipose and corpulent. You are vapid. If I'm vapid, you're heinous and atrocious. I bet you don't even know what that means. I do. Well, at least my initials don't stand for dimwit. Ha! Huh. Tommy Tibble came up with that, and he's my age. You lose. Oh, I know what you are. You want to know what you really are? You're such a... Dora Winifred! <gasps> Dora Winifred! Stop Dora it! Dora Winifred! Stop it! Make him stop! All right! Bedtime! <laughs> Arthur thinks he's so great. Now go to sleep, D.W. I'm not gonna let him beat me. This place looks almost perfect. It is perfect. I could be happy here forever. Watch me walk through the woods, did you? That would be so boring. Tommy? Timmy? We were turned to stone by the insults of the evil Arthur. Really? You think I'm lying? Bummer. You're telling me. My nose itches. Oh, thank you. D.W., look out! He'll turn you to stone. Get away! Where's the Saurus? The reference section. Follow me. This is the history section. Science and technology. 
Technology section. <laughs> wow, I never knew all this stuff was in the library. Here we are. It's one word. Thesaurus. The thesaurus. Sheesh. Hey, I don't even know how to read. I, I, I'd love to hear your whole life story, but I got a lot of words to organize. It's a mess in there. I need the perfect word for Arthur. First, you must prove yourself worthy. Oh, nothing's ever easy. Name three words for Goofy! Silly, foolish, and Arthur! That's right! Now I will fulfill your wish. The perfect name to call Arthur is... Having a bad dream, honey. Here, have a glass of water. Ah! Arthur! What? Uh, I'm sorry I called you names. Well, you called me. I mean, I'm sorry too. I had this dream, and the tables were in it, and you were in it, Arthur. <laughs> and you were in it too. Oh, sheesh. <gasps> One day it was Dante. I guess it's not nice to call people names. Basketball head. Ah, you're a basketball head. Who call you that head? Big eyes. I'm not a basketball head. We didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Pizza head. Ah, pizza head. Pizza head. I am not a pizza head. Oh. I am a human being. Na, 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 na. Pinto head. A head. You are a big egg head. Hey, I'm not an egg head. You're making me feel bad. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You don't even know me. My name is Carmichael. I'm sorry. What's your name? Gary. Don't call me because kids have feelings too. And now back to Arthur. Sharing is a good thing. It always makes people happy. Pal too. He doesn't care what you're sharing. He'll take anything. And I mean anything. How? Let go! Shoes are not to eat! Now, DW. Just because she's my sister, I have to share with her all the time. And if you think that's easy... Hey! 
Mom! Arthur, you know you're not supposed to take your sister's things. But, Mom, I was sharing. Finders keepers. to my house to watch high D TV. Wanna come? Really? Sure. If we hurry, we won't miss the start of Miranda the Magic Princess. Uh, uh perhaps I'll go to the Sugar Bowl instead. Me too. <laughs> Pop fly, Arthur. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. It's just a rock. Wow! What is it, Arthur? It's a key! I found a key! I wonder what it opens. It looks kind of new. Hey, maybe it's the new science museum. For this, it might be really important, like the key to the city. Don't worry, Mayor Hirsch, I'm on my way. <laughs> Don't worry, ducks. I'm here. I've got the key. What do you want? I have the key to the city, sir. Thank goodness. Like a car key. Binky Barnes? What a car! <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't go to a car. I don't even know how to drive. What do you mean, you? I get the car. I thought of it. But I found the key. But you wouldn't have found that key if I hadn't thrown the ball to you. I could have thrown it right back to Brain. Wait, let's think about this logically. We wouldn't have gone by that spot if I hadn't said to go to the Sugar Bowl. Besides, it's my ball. So, for all those reasons, the key is mine. I don't think so. Wait, there's only one thing to do. We'll just have to share the key. Even if it's to a car. Whatever it is, we share it 50-50. 50. 50. 50. Good idea. Let's try some cars first. My idea's better. It doesn't matter what we try first. The key can only fit one thing anyway. That's what a key is. If it worked for more than one thing, it wouldn't be much of a key, would it? 
The museum is just down the street. Let's try there first. Oh well, I guess it's less scary to go when it's open anyway. Let's give the key back to the mayor. That's where it belongs. As a matter of fact, boys, we did lose the key to the city. See? But a nice young boy found it just last week and returned it. Uh, that means it's gotta be a car! I guess it would be okay to have a car. We'd get to go wherever we wanted. Remember, it's 50-50-50. That means each of us can have a car for two days a week. But what about Sunday? I should get it on Sunday. It was my idea. We have a lot of time to figure that out. We can't drive until we're 16 anyway. That's right. That means I'll get the car all to myself for a whole year before you guys can drive. <laughs> yeah, and he can drive us there. That's OK, Binky. But you'll have to drive us wherever we want to go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through the drive-in again, Binky. Okay, but don't get ice cream on the upholstery. I spent all day cleaning up after you guys. Do you know how long it took me to vacuum? <laughs> Hold on. I got a better idea. Hey, buddy. Fill her up. Yes, sir. And you. Einstein, check the oil. And then both of you can spit shine those hubcaps. <laughs> it's not my fault that you guys are younger than me. Why should I drive you around? If that's the way you want to be, then I want my new Bionic Bunny video back that I loaned you. Fine, take it. I've already seen it. And I want my CD back, the clarinet concertos. Fine. And I want all my stuff back, too. Fine! Here's the last thing, your stupid comic book. I hope you're happy, Binky. Oh, I am. It's getting late. I'm going home. Whoa! Where do you think you're going with that key? I'll put it in my indestructible safe for the night. Oh, I don't think so. I don't want you taking my car. All right, all right, I'll keep it. Oh, yeah, right. Think again, Arthur. I really think I should. Well, if none of us can take the key home, what are we gonna do with it? If it's 50-50-50, nobody can take it home. Too bad we didn't find three keys in the grass. That's it, I know. There's only one place to put it. We'll just cover it with some dirt, and it'll be here tomorrow when we get back. Good thinking, Brain. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. It's okay, Arthur. Yeah, it's nice to see you kids having fun. All right, give it back. Give what back, Alan? Not you, Mr. Morris. Arthur. Wait, you guys. I've got an idea. What if we just give it to Mr. Morris to keep? He can guard it for us and give it back in the morning. Give Mr. Morris what to keep? This key. I, I found it, and I was wondering... I if... found it? It was my ball. It's mine. I'm the one who can drive first. It's You 50, cannot. 50, Binky. I'm not giving Remember? any free rides. I have no the key way. right now. Oh, yes, Joe, your horse the key. Where did you boys find this? I've been looking for this key for days. You know what it goes to? To a car, right? Not quite. This is where we found it. Makes sense. Because here's what it goes to. It's the key to the sprinklers for the ball field. Maybe you noticed it was getting a little dusty lately. Now we'll have that grass green in no time. Everybody's going to be glad you boys found this key. That was pretty 
be stupid. Fighting over a dumb sprinkler key. You know, Binky, you can have that CD back again, if you want. Really? Thanks. It's a good thing that key didn't fit a car. We would have been fighting for years. Hey, look, look what I found. Uh-oh. My ball. Powerball. Listen to your heart.